Hey there guys, welcome to an episode. Tonight before we're doing our little mission, I'm taking Ollie. You guys would have saw last episode in the octopus catch and cook. This is the same day that we caught those octopus and tomorrow we're going to the fat. I think I mentioned in the last episode. And I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully we can get a couple dolphin fish, maybe even kingies and just get him onto a good fish. And I need to get my first dolphin fish. That's the most important thing. We're taking a few rods each, but mostly diving stuff. We want to catch a good, few good fish on the spear gun and then we'll try jigging some kingies or something or some dolphin fish. But yeah, it's third time for me out to the fat. So hopefully with third time lucky, we can get a few and get Ollie onto a few good fish as well. And I'll see you then. You. 4.30. You fellas tired? I think it's 4.45 now, still dark, just packing the boat, we are out there as soon as possible. 5.15am, it's hard to believe I wasn't even in the first boat here, it's not even the first light yet and someone's already left, like two boats have already left actually, it's crazy, <laughs> we're about to leave though, Holly's here, we're just chucking everything on the boat and yeah we'll get out there, because we need to be first boat out there, because divers, I don't know, I've heard at the fad people just get annoyed with divers and stuff and if I'm first there, even if I'm second there, I can do drifts without people being, oh, you can't do this for. I don't know. I'm assuming things there, but I've heard that's what it's like. Got the fad just there. Ollie's first time being at the fad. I'll jump in first because. I need to get Dolly before he gets his first Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out here three times, I still haven't seen one. But first boat, which is great, so I'm going to jump in. No one can get angry with us for diving if we're first boat here. We're just seeing what the drift is like. I'll get suited up and I'll get ready to jump in. Ollie will drop me off and hopefully there's good fish there. Eww. There's one other boat here now and they're fishing, so we're about to drift on the first drift. Ollie's boaty. Don't run into a rock, that's the one thing you can't do. <laughs> Probably a good chance of not doing it out here. <laughs> Hi, got this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Little lamb, <album>. you champion. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My first dolly. No way. He's not bad size. Like he's not tiny. <laughs> Trophy fish, mate. Trophy Ew. fish. <laughs> you gotta get one now, mate. I gotta get one. Are they there? Yeah. He was probably the biggest in the school, which is good as well. Oh, first dolly. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Oh. Can't drum like them. He's not actually bad. <laughs> first dolphin fish for me. First dolphin fish on your booty. That's awesome. <laughs> We're going to drop Ollie in now. He said the other boat that's here hooked a real big one on a livey, so there must be big ones there. There's rat kingies absolutely everywhere. I'm going to give Ollie my GoPro to wear just in case he gets something crazy. There's a few rainbow runners in there as well. I'm frothing the first one, and hopefully there's some big ones down there. I just, I've got one now, so I'm happy. So if Ollie can get one, it'll be a sick day, and then depends what we get, we'll have another jump. 
jump in and the, the drift was weird when I got out there. It wasn't the way we thought it was going that we drifted before. So um, yeah, I had to fight pretty hard against the current, but I got there and I missed two easy shots and then which was all good because they were actually smaller dollies and then I shot that one. He's about 80 centimeters, which I'm surprised. I thought it wasn't as big, but hopefully there's a big bull hanging in there, something that swims up to Ollie and <laughs> that'll be a sick fifth fish of your life if you can get a dolly. <laughs> On and I've got the smallest hooks ever. I've got the smallest hooks ever. <laughs> I'm a little rat. I'm on a 2500. Like, you don't want to know how small this metal is. <laughs> Go on, up you get, Kingy. Up you get, little Kingy. It's not actually that bad, I don't think. Too much stuff on you today. Too much stuff. Oh. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh. That's why you should always be prepared. I love being prepared. Ah. Got another kingy on. I'm just going to be real light on him because I lost the last one. I've got a bigger metal on. So a bigger hook, so I'm feeling more confident. Jesus. Come on. Come on. None of that around here, mate. Now, I've lost all the kingies I've caught in 2021 so far. Which is only two, but I've lost them all. Come on, come on. This one might be solid. Jesus, come on, come on. Come down, come down. Jesus, he's going to the bottom. He's going to the bottom. It might be a solid fish, but he's just heading to the bottom. What the hell? Come on. I'm sick of all as a dolly, but I reckon by that run, it's definitely a king. Just a rat, though. Oh my god, these are fun. I'm lucky. Damn, they'll work out. Yeah, there's some colour. Take my drag off a little bit. Get the net ready. One thing I should have done before I even hooked that last king, he's got the net ready. Come on. Oh, little king, not very big. Damn, they go hard on white gear, but 55 centimeters, they're close to legal. He'll go back in the drink, get one shot with him. Ew! Yeah, straight in. See you, buddy. Got a little one, kingy I think, did a tiny little run. It's gonna wake up in a sec and watch this. It's gonna wake up in a sec. There we go. He's like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Out of my net. Finally, it's actually a bit bigger. I don't think it's legal. 55 centimeter, another little rat. Oh, thought he was a bit closer, but no. See you, buddy. He's gone. Right. Probably gonna go back to the third. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's on. Had a fast first up. Oh, there we go again. Kingy, kingy on, kingy on, double. Yes! 
little 55 centimetre specimen, probably the same one. 57 centimetre kingy. Nice. On your way home. So we're about to head from the fad first time, Ollie at the fad third time for me, but first time for me seeing any fish whatsoever at the fad. I've never actually seen him bait fish there. We saw heaps of kingies, a few rainbow runners, and the dolly. I got one dolly. They kind of disappeared after seven o'clock, really, after I got mine, so that proves early bird does get the worm. After all these boats kind of drove through and I had a shot at some few dollies, they just disappeared. The end of the day, we got one, so I'm stoked. 80 centimeter dolly. Put him straight on ice. Bad shot, I will admit. It was a crap shot. I thought I was going to lose it for a bit. But awesome fish. Black lit wetsuits keep me warm. And yeah, I'm stoked. First dolly. <laughs> you! First fish on the trial. What the hell? Oh, this is my first fish ever trolling. <laughs> oh! That's not a red some weight. <laughs> Big salmon just lost him at the boat. Oh, that's alright, but it's just the salmon. Oh, that went pretty hard though. Yeah. So we've just been trolling and we're trying new things, throwing medals at boys and stuff like that we'll just start doing that for a bit and see what we can do we'll go along some headlands try and get some kingies but yeah we'll just keep casting and see what happens oh, there's you. kingies at the boat and they're tiny what the hell let's leave them in there Chuck oh yeah i want to get <laughs> double hook up on the kingies <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah go on Oh, got that many kingies today. They're all rats, but <laughs> oh, can you just jump? Lost it. We're on. <laughs> that could be all right. Yeah, I saw a tiny one followed by a lure, and then Ollie got smashed. You're gonna jump, eh? Oh, no. We're heading in, we've got one fish in the esky, lost a fair few fish today, but it was so fun catching all them kings and the shooting the dolly. I think I smell a mahi mahi catching cook coming up, but in a couple of days, I think I have to. It's my first dolphin fish, I have to do a catching cook for that one. Yeah, I'll see you guys when we get in. You do this one. You you just finished up. Beautiful day here. Still beautiful. Thanks for coming, Ollie. Nice to meet you. Thanks for taking me out. Nice bro. two days. There'll be two episodes with Ollie in it. Probably the last one you saw, the octopus and this one. But yeah, been a sick couple days. Heaps of good fish caught. Sure was. Only got the one fish, but that's awesome, yeah. Sick couple days. Heaps of kingies caught today. And got that awesome fish. Best fish I've speared in probably two years, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. You. I know I said see you next time. I didn't mean it. I forgot all about me doing a catch and cook. Same day. It was only two hours ago I said that. And I've come down to one of my favorite little places. This is the place where I lost my big toe. So I just want a moment of silence for my big toe. Now that's over. I didn't actually lose it. And if you want to watch that video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, click up here. I've wanted to do a mahi mahi catch and cook for ages. Like it's just been on my bucket list the fish itself just to shoot it or catch it has been on my bucket list for ages finally got a chance today not a massive specimen but you know 80 centimeters my first one i'm still pretty stoked and yeah i'm just stoked that i've got a mahi mahi on the on the list now on the scoreboard i'm doing something real simple today just breadcrumbs like i know i do it a lot but i heard it's really good just breadcrumbed and fried and i'll be the judge of that i didn't bring anything else a bit of lemon so i can taste the full flavor of the mahi mahi itself now, fingers crossed i don't burn it fingers crossed i'm not going to make any promises yet and i actually think i've remembered everything 
we'll see. We'll see as we go along. But yeah, I'll get my stuff ready and yeah, mahi mahi catch and cook. Ew. We're doing the fillet right here. Usually I don't do it here, but today I decided to do something different. I've got the ocean to wash it off here. Well, not the ocean, the river, salt water. And yeah, I want to fill it in front of you guys. I've never filled it to the dolphin fish before, so it'll be a learning for me, I guess. Got no tips or anything. It should be pretty straightforward. Get all the meat up there, and yeah, I'll fill the whole thing here. They're just awesome fish, man. As if. It even bothered to eat this fish. That's not a bad job for a first time fillet effort on a mahi mahi. That guy's going to the crabs. That's for the crabs. They have some good fillets. I'll skin this whole thing, wash it all off, and it'll be ready. First thing I want to do. Put the stove on, there we go. Put some oil on, that's gonna heat up. And before I know it, it will be ready to go. If you wanna be quick like me, you gotta do these things. Be quick. What I've got here is a breadcrumb flour, salt and pepper mix. I actually really like adding the flour to breadcrumb mix. I don't know, it sticks a bit better that way. I reckon that's ready, honestly. Let's go. Got the bubbles. That's plenty. You know, I have a habit of burning it. So <laughs> hopefully today I won't burn it. It's just cooking away on half heat. That's very unusual of me. I do not cook much on half heat. I just reckon high heat's way better than cooking it fast. Oh, that's pretty close to perfect, I think. Did not burn it. Just tell me how good this looks. Just tell me in the comments how damn good this looks. A lot of people say Mahi Mahi is one of the best eating fish. I've never had it. I'm going to be the judge. Oh, that's, that's ready. Turn that off. Ooh. It's just breaking away at the tongs. Get in my belly. I'll let that cool down a tiny bit. Get some lemon juice on there. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want lemon juice. Let's eat. First time mahi mahi ever. And I'll put a bit of lemon juice on. I just like fish better with lemon juice. That is damn good. There's no fishy taste whatsoever. It's like chunky. It's actually really good texture for fish. <laughs> they seriously good. <laughs> what the hell? If you've shot dolphin fish before, let me know in the comments if you agree with me that the texture is like no fish I've eaten before. A shark, I guess shark has the same texture. Very chunky, steaky, marlin, similar. That's good. Usually I'll say to you, I'm going to finish this not today, I finished it like that. Yum. I want to go shoot another one. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'm stoked and cheers Ollie for joining the channel for this episode and last episode. If you want to see his Instagram, the link will be down below. Give him some love, give him some clout and chuck a couple follows for him. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow the Instagram at offshore underscore underscore adventures. I'll see you next time. Yo. Oh, no. Oh,